Today, we need to talk about Jungkook talking about those people who hate him. I want to get into the rumors that Jungkook was having intercourse and nude after a stalker took pictures of him at his apartment. And then we need to talk about staff supporting Jungkook. So, hey, dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, it's Hey Spilling Mug Merch, and let's go. I want to get into the song 3D a bit more and just all the drama surrounding this song. I want to clarify when artists are on their promotion period, it becomes extremely hard for the celebrity to do anything without a lot of eyeballs on them. Same goes for when they're in the midst of a scandal. It basically happens because they become so well known and so well talked about that fans, journalists, and paparazzis are just looking for things to discover about the artist. So you'll have intense stalkers and all that. And of course, to make things worse, the paparazzi, journalists, and fans all have incentives to stalk the idols because everything they post and show of the idol goes viral. So this also means that when an idol drops their song, there's a lot of people trying to make a scandal out of something that is not a big deal. Among those trying to make a scandal out of nothing, there's of course normal outrage and things that go on with any promotion and music. One of the things that was definitely under a microscope was a lyric that Jungkook had for the song 3D. He said, I got you playing with yourself on camera. That is a very sexual lyric and interestingly enough, I can see why this particular particular lyric could make people feel very uncomfortable regardless of who is singing it. But of course, these are things that he is allowed to sing about because that is his right as an adult. He also has lyrics like, if you're ready and you'll let me, which was taken in a very positive way to say that Jungkook is a big advocate of consent. And we love that. We love good consent. The songs, while are about being sexual, are never supposed to be something that is crude. It's never supposed to be something that is without consent, making it a song that is totally fine. Jungkook is of age and older now, so these lyrics align with not only what he could be doing, but what a lot of people in his age category are probably doing. People were asking if the staff or Hype had approved of this, and that is ridiculous. Of course they did. The song was published. This is not something that Jungkook just wrote himself, made a music video himself, and then posted it. A lot of these fans live in a somewhat delusional world if they honestly think a song on radio, on billboard, on TV, and an expensive music video all just came out of nowhere without the knowledge of the label. Because in order for this to even be released properly, as in the rollout would be successful, he need the help of the label and the team that they can offer a promotion. A lot of these people live in a really weird world and a world that does not exist. I've never seen any fans of any other idol or celebrity that sometimes asks the dumbest questions. When people ask me what is the dumbest thing I've ever read or what is a comment that sums up the dumb comments online, I would often show them this question that was asked online asking if Jungkook would date a 14 year old girl. I believe Jungkook was probably around 20 or 21 at the time, so the answer is no. But it's like at 14, there's no way you would not know that someone that is not even a teenager anymore would probably not date you or not even legally allowed to date you. Like it's not even a question. The question being asked would imply that a 14 year old would have a chance and it's not true. But anyway, back to the lyrics, people broke down the lyrics even more to ask why is seeing him being sexual something that is uncomfortable for everyone? And the reason is because this apparently makes him unattainable. And I don't really understand that because wouldn't that make him feel more attainable that he is someone who desires the same thing as the mass public does. People felt like he was more relatable when he was acting like he didn't want sex. That doesn't make sense to me because wouldn't that make you feel like he is not even within the same realm or reality in which you live in? Like you'd never be able to date maybe a nun or someone like that, right? But then also I love how quick people like to forget about the things that he has put out previously that would make him unattainable. I.e. looking at his apartment, looking at his clothes he wears to the red carpet, him on the red carpet, his music videos costing hundreds of thousands of dollars to make him performing at sold out concerts, seeing him at top restaurants, him having abs, so many things. All of this apparently makes him relatable, but having sex doesn't, what? I think it was interesting when Jungkook sort of addressed the hate comments a bit. During Jungkook's station head listening party, he was asked to describe ARMY and he described them as very passionate, which is a very clear and great way to describe the fandom. He says something that a lot of armies are scared to do, which is become fans of other idols, and he says he welcomes that. And he then talks about people who dislike him. He talks about how there's a lot of people who hate him. Jungkook basically said he is aware of that but is going to live his life knowing that. But also this implies he's not going to change anything because other people hate him. He also couldn't say this without acknowledging there's a lot of love too. But it's nice to hear him address the haters. Jungkook also calls haters fans too since they follow up and keep track of whatever he is doing. This is where I disagree. I don't think people who hate and people who continue to hate over the years are fans because they don't actually ever keep up with the idol or celebrity. They take half information without doing any proper research and then make these 
hateful claims. So if there were to actually have all the information together, they would not feel the same way about the idol. It's not them being hateful as much as them just being bad people. And those people should be called out for literally being a problem to society, especially when I see haters who are nurses or doctors. Like, how did you get your degree without looking at information and then not look further into it? Decide to spread hate before either watching a video all the way to the end or spread hate based on gossip. Imagine if you treat your patients like that. They die. John from the street says, I need to cut off your legs even though you have a cold, so I'm going to do it. Makes no sense. And I don't think these people who send hate are fans. I just think they're miserable people. If you're someone with a very full social calendar or very full work life, you don't have time to be online to leave any sort of mean comment. In fact, if you watch a video that you disagree with, you're just going to click off because you're like, I don't have time to listen to this nonsense. And you probably don't want to see more of it. Leaving a comment signifies to the algorithm that you like this content. So it'll give you more. Jungkook also has been a victim of rumors and stuff that could possibly be made up, which is very possible. Because of course, when all these eyeballs are on you, people are going to try to make things up to go viral or whatever it is. So what happened recently? If you are not aware, a video went viral on Weibo. This is a Chinese social media. Someone posted a video of allegedly Jungkook in his apartment and through his window. We got to see someone who appears like Jungkook being shirtless and playing around with a woman in the apartment. The only way to be able to identify him is that the video seems to be showing someone with a similar weight, hairstyles, and arm tattoos as Jungkook. But other than that, it is potato resolution and we cannot see what his face looks like. Of course, this would imply, if it was real, that this alleged Jungkook was having sex or doing something with this woman. People started to take moments from the viral video and compared it to moments in which Jungkook has previously shown bits and pieces of his apartment during a live stream. People were saying the TV was in the same placement or you could see the things hanging on his wall to be in the same placement in the viral video and in the live streams. So this would allegedly confirm that the viral video is of Jungkook's apartment. I have two things to say to this. First off, we would never know whose apartment this actually is. Yes, the placement of these things could be in the same place, but to compare things on a wall makes no sense because it's a luxury apartment. The main point of a luxury apartment is that developers buy a pot of land, build a big building, and then make some room for people to buy or rent. Obviously, because of this, each room and apartment are probably going to look the same or similar, i.e. similar layout or similar things on a wall. And then the second thing I want to talk about and ask people, regardless of whether this is true or not, stop trying to prove it false. It literally does not matter because by trying to prove it false or true or whatever, people keep bringing up the layout of his apartment and each shot can also show exactly which apartment building he lives in. And that is so dangerous for him. I don't like that at all. He already has a problem with people sending food to his apartment and not having enough privacy. Now he has to deal with fans literally knowing not only the building in which he lives in now, but literally knowing exactly what floor and possibly which exact apartment. Please stop this. And all this is just to prove or disprove that he is dating someone, like who cares? Fans are literally going through these intense measures and costing Jungkook safety just because they don't feel good inside that Jungkook could be dating someone. Like it literally does not matter. I don't think there's enough evidence to support anything and I also don't really care what he's doing in his free time. Do you have free time and do you do things? Probably. So he can too. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for the lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.